hey what's up guys this is akshay from AS learning and today in this video we'll, we'll be seeing a live interview question series which was asked at cognizant so before wasting any time let's get started so uh this interview series was for a uh, mid-level data scientist so the package which was offered was around 10 to 12 lakhs and uh experience that guy had was uh, two to three years of experience Two years of experience okay so it started in this way first question what is supervised and unsupervised learning so it's very simple supervised learning is a type of machine learning which trains on labeled data and unsupervised learning trains on unlabeled data you can explain more that supervised learning can be categorized in regression classification unsupervised learning can be categorized into clustering and association problems supervised learning predicts output from the input given while unsupervised learning finds the hidden patterns and insights in data from the input itself next question what is confusion matrix so confusion matrix is a the technique by which we uh, find out how good our classification models are built we have terms like true positive true negative false positive and false negative so whenever your model says that it's positive yes and the actual value is also yes so it's true positive when your model says it's it's a negative and you're actually the value is also negative so it's negative and whenever your model says that it's positive but actually it is negative so, so that is a false positive it is also called as type 1 error and when your model says it's negative but actually it's positive so it's false negative and it is also called as type 2 error okay next question what is multicollinearity and how to solve it okay so multi collinearity occurs when two or more independent variables are highly correlated with each other it is it is very common problem in uh, solving regression uh, problem statements so what you can do is uh, you, uh, you can leverage a variance inflation factor and what variance inflation factor it is it is one upon one minus r square so uh, whenever your uh, vif is less than five so it means that it is low coal collinearity or it is moderately correlated when the vif is high it is having high collinearity or it is highly correlated okay and the and the reciprocal of vif is tolerance so means so means the vif is high the tolerance is low and when the vif is low the tolerance is high now how to solve it the simple way can be drop the variables okay by standardizing the variables rich and lasso regression or uh, record the form of the independent variable okay. next question what is the difference between random forest and and uh, it should be um, gradient boost not gradient descent okay so uh, a random forest is a bagging technique and gradient boost uh, boosting technique uh, a random forest trains in such a way that each tree independent uh, we train each tree independently using a random sample using a random sample of the data and uh, this random and this randomness uh, helps to make the model more robust in a single decision tree so what happens is we have around 100 trees built by picking the columns randomly and then we have a voting classifier on top of it or any other uh, aggregating mechanism which tells the final output of a random forest so it's a bagging technique we are bagging a number of trees while in boosting what happens is we build a tree one at a time and each new tree is built taking into consideration the errors of the previous tree so we take into consideration the errors made by the previous tree and we correct it and each time a better tree is built okay now the, the, the next question was what are the different parameters in exeboost algorithm so uh, the most popular algorithms in boosting are cat boost light boost xz boost etc so uh, what are the different parameters there so all the parameters which are there into decision tree are there into xz boost we have max z we have minimum child with estimators alpha lambda and max. next question what is better entropy or gain index so gain index is better because it is computationally better over entropy in entropy you calculate the log while in gain index you don't calculate the log so that is why computation is better next question now they move to and they move to nlp 
So the first one was basic one, what is lemmatization and stemming. Root chopping of the words is stemming. And bringing the words to its root dictionary form is lemmatization. Stemming is faster while uh, lemmatization is slow. For example, if you have a word called caring, then uh, if you put a stemmer on it, it will be bottled to car, while caring will go to care in lemmatization. So the different stemmers are Snowball, Portal, Lancaster, Regex, etc. Next one was what is TIF and IDF. So TIF stands for term frequency and IDF stands for inverse document frequency. TIF, the number of uh, times a word occur in, in any document, total words in a document. While uh, IDF is, it gives importance to rare words and cut out the weightage of common words like the day, the day, etc. Formula of uh, uh, IDF, it is log of total of the documents upon total number of documents with that word. And when you multiply these two terms, we get TIF, TF, IDF. What are the different types of embeddings? So the different types of embeddings are word to vec, doc to vec, glove, word embedding, ill fit, full fit, etc. Okay. How will you explain the client complex things of ML modeling? So this this, this question is generally asked to uh, see whether uh, whether the uh, ML engineer or the data, data science can handle the client properly because client handling is also a very important thing while working as a data scientist and also storytelling is a very important thing. So how you can do is we, uh, you can uh, explain the uh, terms which are used in ML modeling. For example, if you use precision and recall or accuracy, so you can explain them what is precision, what is recall, and why they have went with uh, precision and recall over accuracy. So dissecting these complex statistical terms in a very layman way and explain to the client will be a solution. What is dropout? Dropout is a regularization technique used in neural networks for handling overfitting. What is transfer learning? Transfer learning is leveraging the pre-trained weights of the models and using them to solve our business problem in hand. We already have a trained model with lots of parameters and we can leverage that uh, solve our business problem into a statement. And last but not least, they discussed about other project specific questions which were completely dependent on, on how you collected your data and what pre-processing you did and uh, how you approach the machine learning algos and etc. General project specific question. Okay, so that's it with this guys. If you like this video and if you find this video helpful, uh, give it a thumbs up. Do check other uh, uh, interview question uh, videos of Java, which we have of many companies like Mindtree, Cognizant, uh, Infosys, Capsule, etc. Uh, stay tuned to AS for more such amazing tech stuff. You, uh, you can also check the uh, AI playlist uh, which we have. We have lots of Project spills on all the topic will be structured. Do have a check if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and see. Take care, peace out.